Okay, so we're going to cover this one more time. Uh, I know that some folks have, are still having questions about uh, adding your uh, email forms for your clients or ha helping your clients uh, build their email list using card. So again, I, I recorded a couple new things on this today, but for visual uh, guide, here is all you need to do. So this is just a simple landing page that we have for building an email list. You wanna click on the form elements themselves. It brings up this side uh, drawer, and then you just simply, you know, whether it's a contact form or a sign-up form, in this case, uh, we're using the sign-up form, and then you simply pick from the, the selection of uh, available services and you're good to go. All right, so you pick get response, gives you an API key uh, field and a list token below. If you pick MailChimp, it's a different uh, set of parameters. It's an API key and an audience ID key, et cetera. You can simply you know, navigate this again for yourself by dint of the uh, you know, service that either you're using or your clients are using. All right, so the selections are here. Each one has a similar yet a little bit unique, uh, you know, set of further instructions, email octopus, API key, list ID, um, you know, mail or light, API key, subscriber group ID, which is optional, et cetera. All right, very, very easy. Don't overthink it. It's that simple. If you have a template like this one, it's really, really, uh, you know, kind of, you know, immediately obvious where this goes, but you can also simply do the same thing by dint of adding forms. So if you add a form like this, here's another form and the same process applies, All right? Sign up, click on this and the same options present themselves yet again. Okie doke. Hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, as always, and you're in our group, feel free to ask. Teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. I appreciate you watching and have a wonderful day. Thanks.